You're right that this is a pretty hard question because when we think of general uses of ser versus estar, you would think that ser is used for the permanent state of something and estar is used for the temporary state of something. So you think de papel is the origin of something that is permanent. Shouldn't it always be ser? It should be es de papel, es hecho de papel. Here's why that's not exactly the case. Es de papel is right. But you would say está hecho de papel because of this word hecho. The word hecho is what we in English call a past participle. So you are using the form of a you are using the form of a verb that is to be plus its past participle, which I will abbreviate as PP. So the present form of to be and the past participle. In English, you would say is made of paper. Is made. You wouldn't say is paper or is of paper like you would say for ser, right? So when you are using the verb, you need to use estar. Because estar is used as an action verb, right? And here you're using to be as an action verb before this past participle. This might be a little bit easier to understand if we use something besides hecho de papel. Let's say... Alguien está sentado. Someone is seated, right? In English, you would say is seated. Seated is the past participle form of seat, of sitting, right? Of sitting. So because you are using the action verb of is, you would say está sentado. You wouldn't say es sentado. Alguien es sentado. Whenever you have those past participles, right, that oftentimes end with an O, like hecho and sentado, you have to use the action form of to be, which is estar. Mm -hmm.